Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I've mentioned before about law enforcement having overlapping jurisdictions so that where you could be sitting in one place in Michigan, for instance, in Detroit, there might be Detroit City Police, uh, Wayne County Sheriff's, Michigan State Police, all having jurisdiction over certain kinds of things that could happen in Detroit. But of course, there's others, including federal jurisdictions. And some of them can be surprising. And so uh, Frank sent me a note yesterday. I said, Steve, check out the story about the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service. According to uh, Business Insider, the IRS is hiring special agents prepared to use deadly force if needed and is paying up to $95,000. So if you've always wanted to have such a job, you might want to apply with the IRS because it looks like it pays pretty well and uh, they need a few good people. Got to say that now, <laughs> as opposed to a few good men and women. Sam Tabaridi wrote this for Business Insider. The IRS is hiring special agents who shouldn't be afraid of using deadly force. Now, here's the thing. You might say, but Steve, where is the IRS's authority? Well, the whole country. <laughs> but of course, it's going to only involve certain kinds of things over which they have jurisdiction. So it's not like the IRS is going to pull you over in traffic and go, hey, dude, uh, do you know how fast you were going? <laughs> Step out. I want to see you walk a line. Criminal Investigation, which is a law enforcement branch of the IRS, is looking for agents across the U.S. who can combine accounting skills with law enforcement skills to investigate financial crimes, according to a job posting on its website. So special agents are duly sworn law enforcement officers who are trained to follow the money. This sounds like a great comic book hero. I'm IRS man or woman. These agents investigate financial crimes, money laundering, tax-related identity theft, and terrorist financing efforts. They're the only IRS workers who are permitted to carry and use firearms. Required to work a minimum of 50 hours a week, they're always on call. Even during vacations and weekends, these agents will need to be fit so they can effectively respond to life-threatening situations. And some people are going to wonder, how often does that happen with the IRS? And they're saying, well, apparently enough to where they need these kinds of agents. They will conduct arrests, search warrants, and other dangerous assignments. But most importantly, they must be legally allowed to carry a weapon. Agents must be prepared to protect themselves or others from physical attacks at any time and without warning. And to use firearms in life-threatening situations. Should not be afraid to use force up to and including the use of deadly force. Of course, that's only when called for. According to a posting on the website for government jobs, the IRS is seeking agents in all 50 states. does not matter which state you're in. You can apply for a job. Posting lists 360 vacancies nationwide. It says that uh, starting pay is around $52,921. Uh, can get up to $94,000. I suspect it might be where you are located. Uh, it's according to the USA Jobs listing. Applicants must be U.S. citizens aged between 21 and 37. The IRS did not respond to a request for comment from Insider. So uh, it's an interesting job posting. And, you know, I know some people are going to say, well, you know, it makes sense. They have people who work for them who enforce these laws. I, I know that some other people are just simply going to find the headline kind of interesting when they says the IRS is hiring agents prepared to use deadly force. And the question is, how often does that happen? Well, with the average person, okay, the average tax return does not involve the IRS showing up at your place prepared to use deadly force. But you'll notice you're talking about the crimes that they are tasked with enforcing. And some of those, as you can imagine, might be dangerous. So, for instance, uh, if they're going to arrest somebody or if they have a search warrant to execute, uh, those are the situations that can go sideways pretty quickly. So as you can imagine, there's some illegal operation someplace that's being run clandestinely and somebody's got to go out there with a search warrant at night and bust the place up, <laughs> which actually sounds kind of like fun, but I can see where it might help if you could carry the weapon. So uh, it's an interesting story. It kind of reminds us of the untouchables. Of course, uh, you know, there were some tax implications there, as I recall, but one of the things that people often joke about is, and I've mentioned this saying before, but when you have a hammer in your hand, the entire world looks like a nail. And so if you are equipped to do something, the temptation's always there 
to use what you're equipped to do. And so my concern, of course, is that as we um, uh, up armor, so to speak, the IRS uh, with all these agents sitting around, uh, will there be a temptation to use them more than they're doing right now? But the one thing I do not know is how many agents they currently have who are already in this particular role. And that's the curious thing to me. Because I suspect they've already got agents like this, but I just don't know if they've ever advertised like this for them uh, or if just it never got picked up in the news. So again, they're looking to hire 360 vacancies. And I wanted to mention also, it says the roles start out at $52,000 a year at the low end and up to 94. I suspect that has a lot to do with the cost of living where they're hiring people. But also remember that federal jobs tend to have really good benefits. Now they did say they want you to work 50 hours a week and you might be on call during vacations and weekends. So it's going to be one of those intrusive jobs where you can never really relax. <laughs> it's like the born identity. No, and, and so, but the benefits are good. The benefits are good. Go in there, do your time, get out, and, and you should have a fine retirement. What'd you do for a living, Grandpa? I was an IRS special agent. I carried a firearm. <laughs> no one will believe you either. <laughs> But, you know, like I said, I've, I've talked to a lot of people who ask me about the law enforcement uh, authority of all kinds of different groups out there. Uh, and there's a few that, that really get people ticked off. Uh, the IRS is probably near the top of that list, although I suspect that fish and wildlife or game or whatever it is in your state, uh, that's often at the top of the list where people send me notes and say, hey, uh, you know, in my state, here's what they do. So I understand every state's different. So there's 50 different uh, possible responses to that as to what they do in your state. But the IRS is probably right below uh, the fish and wildlife and game people in terms of how much people enjoy interacting with them <laughs> out in the wild, so to speak. So Frank, thanks for sending this to me. I found it interesting. It's kind of short, but if you want to, I'm sure you can go online and find the posting on the government website, USA Jobs, and look for IRS hiring special agents, and you will find it from businessinsider.com. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. My idea of housework is to sweep the room with a glance.